So tonight I'm going to be taking a look at a game for which I'm going to do a proper YouTube video. Hey, it's Windows XP, yes. Because, oh I need to unmute it actually, oh I mustn't forget that. We're going to be playing an old game, as ever. And that old game is going to be Granny's Garden. Now, Granny's Garden, interesting one. So if you look up Granny's Garden, more than likely you're gonna see something that looks a bit like this uh, and the reason is that the well this is originally a BBC micro game and it came out in a few different uh, 8 bits and this is what it looked like and it was a very very popular game for those systems I'm not sure what that one is I don't recognize that but uh, yeah it was um a very popular game followed me, BBC Micro. Lots of people remember it, um, but not so many people remember the Windows version. And that's the one we're going to be playing today. So let's dive in, see if it still remains good. I actually have a, a physical copy of this because it's impossible to find otherwise. So yeah, I, I went out and bought it from Formation. They're still producing it and you can see this. <laughs> this is file version 4.5.1 from 2016. And that's not just because I installed this in 2016. No, 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 no. My disc was made in 2016. So, yeah. They're still making it. They're still selling it. We've got a few different options here. Uh, I'm just wondering if we could should go through these, maybe. Uh, if there's any point whatsoever. Granny Story. I feel like that's an audio book. Let's click it and find out. Oh, my God, it is as well. Granny's story. Oh, no. Granny put the phone down, picked up the cat, and danced around the room. I'm sure she did. That's very, very good. <laughs> That's all we need to know. I did actually listen to this before most of it, and it makes it just makes no sense. It's not relevant at all to any anything that goes on in the game. What about art disc? Oh yes, look at that. We'll I'll get a proper look at those when we actually play the game. Worksheets. Oh, what joys. Sorry, what? Okay, oh, Coral Draw! Why were they doing this in Coral Draw? I'm very confused. What's the plan here? What? <laughs> Is this like a newspaper? I don't get it. User's Guide? Ah, we don't need no User's Guide. Let's just play the damn game, shall we? Granny's Garden. Are ready for it? Yes! Tunes! I feel like I'm at a Kaylee. It's got to be said, Granny's garden looks very, very sparse. In fact, <laughs> it looks like Skybox here. This is terrifying. Anyway, drink it in because this is the whole. This is all we see of the garden. So here we are in Granny's garden. How about that? Are you ready to start? Jesus, she's got a very loud chair. She needs some WD-40 on that. Come on, Granny, get it together. I know it's been, it's been what, 20 years? 1983 was the original flipping. Oh, I can't hear myself think that is. I can turn it down as much as I like. It's still really loud. Uh, am I ready to start? Nah, not yet, mate. <laughs> Don't be silly. Of course you're ready. All right, fine, 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 fine. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Da. Yes. Oh, fine. And there we go. Bye, bye, Granny. Welcome to the kingdom of the mountains. Do you have a password? Do you know? I think I actually do have a password. <laughs> Funny story. I do remember what my old IT room looked like at school. And I remember that all the passwords for the game were printed out and stuck on the walls, which made it a little bit pointless. Anyway, I do not have a password. Can you see a cave? What happens if I say no here? I shall just be willfully contrarian throughout the whole thing now. Yes, you can. <laughs> God, this game, man. Yes, you can. You can see the cave. All right, fine. Can you? Do you want to go in the cave? Yeah, all right then. You're inside the secret cave. The king and queen of the mountains have been locked in here by... A wicked witch! Their six children have been taken away and hidden by the witch. 
But would you like to help the king and queen? Well, I reckon if I say no, it'll say don't be silly. Of course you do with that sort of rubbish. So, you know what? Might as well say yes. King and queen's pet raven will help you. The raven is coming. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> would you like me to help you? Yes, please. We must go to the woodcutter's house. You can see this is uh, very ed educational already. The witch has made the woodcutter leave his home. Now it is a prison for Esther. Well, poor woodcutter. Is this the um? Is this flipping the guy from Mad Dog Williams? Maybe this is the same cinematic universe, huh? Hey, this is the woodcutter's house. It's a pretty nice little place, isn't it? Would you like to go in? <laughs> I mean, it feels a bit mean just going into somebody's house, but this is a video game after all, so sure. Before you go in, you must solve a little puzzle. Go on then. There is a secret word on the house. What is it? Hmm. 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 <coughs> Gee. Oh. God. Oh. I'm a bit stumped here. Oh dear. What could it possibly be? Hmm. Maybe it's fig. <laughs> now we can go inside, but we must be very careful. The witch has set some traps for you. Don't worry. We've got a uh, sneak level 90. Not quite 100, but getting there. Would you like to take an apple from the tree? Uh, it, can I reach? Flipping heck, those are some <laughs> spherical apples. Yes, please. Keep the apple safe. But I'm hungry, I want to eat it. <clears throat> now you're going to take the stick. Okay. Now you have a stick and an apple. Gee, well done. You have a stick and an apple. I feel like a guy from that stupid music video. You know, I have a feeling that the cupboard is the wrong way to go. I do also know that this game has um, instant failure states. Basically meaning that if you lose, you get sent right back to the beginning. As far as I remember. Also, my god, look at the perspective on that rug. That looks weird, man. Let's pop over to the kitchen, because I'm hungry. Am I going to look in the pot? No! Try looking somewhere else. Alright, fine. Sure. Oh my god! You know what, they have this innate ability to make the witch look terrifying whatever platform she's on. <laughs> Couldn't I have decked the witch with this stick? Right, this time don't go in the pot, because the witch is hiding there. Back room, please. <clears throat> Are you going to open the box? Sure. It's not in here that you will find the witch's broom. Well, of course, cause it's a chest, isn't it? Perhaps you need a broom. But it's not in here, so... I kind of wish it was like a point and click, so you could click on where you want it to go rather than type and everything. Cupboard. What's in cupboard then? Are you going to take the red broom? I'm getting very, very vague memories that the red broom... Some up with the red broom. I feel like if I take it, I'm going to get found by the witch, so I'm going to take it. Yeah, there she is. So, all these three are red herrings, apart from upstairs. What can you throw at the snake? I don't want to throw anything at the snake. He's a good lad. Snakes are boys. But go on then, let's throw apple at the snake. Oh my god! The snake turned into a load of sausages. That was weird, what the heck? Esther is in the house, hidden well from you. Look again and you may find that one broom is now two. That, I think they tried to make a little rhyme there. Hmm, not quite working out so well, is it? There's not one, yes, okay. Ah, cupboard. Cupboard. So now can I take the broom? Oh, green. Oh, and there she is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What? How the heck does that work? How how does picking up a broom equal finding this very... She's, she's gone a bit doolally. I think she's got a bit shell-shocked by uh, being locked in a, in a woodcutter's house. But we shan't dwell on that. We found her, but not, this is not our concern now. My password is snow. Oh! <laughs> Back to Granny's girl. Yes, yeah, snow. Yes, snow. Yes! Snow! Found Esther. Found Esther? Now you have to find Tom. Jolly Tom, Tom Bombadillo. I will take you to see my friend the toadstool. Okay, you're going to take me to see your friend the toadstool. 
Is he going to tell me that the princess is in another castle, I wonder? Hello, oh. Hello, hello. The talking I hope he can hear that, because that was, that was incredible. Tom is hidden on the other side of the giant's garden. You will need some help to cross the garden. Indeed. Right, let's think about this. Um, the worm's going to be no use at all. Is the spider one of them? I would, he looks kind of like he's in the background, but we won't dwell on that. So, spider's not going to get across the water. Slug. Snail, sorry, is not going to get across the water with his amazing uh, shell. Though I have to wonder how he gets through the door. Hmm, didn't think about that one, did you guys? Worm? No. Bee or butterfly, then? Is it going to be the butterfly? It could be a moth. I will try to carry you over the pond. I think we should sit this one out, man. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, game. Does it ever stop, this, this jangly music? No, it doesn't. Oh! Well, that was easy. So the butterfly is the, the vehicle of choice when it comes to getting across ponds. Good to know. But didn't, weren't you at the other side of the pond? Oh, talking toadstool? So why are you now here? Can you move? Are you a moving toadstool? Or are you just a talking toadstool? I've got my eye on you, Buster. We're going to send you down. We're going to nail you someday. You have to go across a small wood. Oh, you set off through the wood. Okay, that was easy. A shower of nuts is falling on you! The nuts are hurting you. One of the creatures can help you. Oh, so they all got across the pond. What's going on here? Which one will you call? Well, it's clearly going to be the snail, because I can climb into his shell and he'll keep me safe. Snail. S oh. My god, this music sounds like it belongs in, a <laughs> in the intro to a boss fight on an NES game. Now we are safe from the falling nuts. Which jerks... A dropping nuts on me. You must cross a flower bed. Look out, an army of ants is coming. This is some quality MIDI music. I'm gonna say the worm because he can burrow underneath. I will dig a, dig a long tunnel underground, says Turner. I hope you're not too dirty, gee thanks. You must follow a twisty path. This looks like the woods. Oh no, doggo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The dog has big yellow teeth. <laughs> I like how that's the qualifier to say that it is dangerous. He's got big yellow teeth. Uh, B? I'm going to buzz off after the dog. Jeez, that is not a good sound. I stung the dog's bottom. Ah, rip B. It appears to be a man. I think you should climb the tree. Tree will be hard to climb. You need help. Spider. Man, I'm doing very well at this game. What's with all this... Intense music for all these these motifs for these creatures. Does that pitch shift as well? It sounds like a Tim Follin piece. Hey, and there he is, Lucky Tom. These these kids don't look very royal, I've got to say. Okay, Sky. Why do you have to go through this every time? Do you have a password? Yes, yes, Sky. Found Esther and Tom. Found Esther and Tom. Take it off, I've not found Esther and Tom. Never! You're enough to find Claire and Anna. Hey, maybe I should text my friend Anna and tell her she's in this game. They've been hidden in the city of the dragons. Are you brave enough to look for them? Well, dragons are my friends. They're like big, scaly putty tats. Welcome to the city of the dragons. <laughs> Hello. I saw a little dragon. Hello. Hello. Ah. Uh, I like a good drago. Well, I, rem I remember not being able to get to this bit, but I'm just wondering how much I actually played this game now that I think about it. I just remember my friend at the time being um, talking to these dragons. So maybe I, maybe I didn't really play it that much at all. Who knows? Anyway, doesn't matter. Welcome to the seat of the dragons. Whoa. Don't worry, it's not an earthquake. It's just someone sneezing. Oh boy, oh no, no. Oh, please no. <laughs> now this is the gatekeeper. 
Oh no! God. I'm gonna categorically say that with this character they should not be giving this to kids. M man. You see, I don't want to be one of those people that gets offended on other people's behalf, but come on. Come on! Alright. Archu. Very good. He's not actually shiny. He's just a really... <laughs> He's just a weep. What is your favourite food? Ooh, now, now, now. Oh, we could be here all night thinking about this. Jeez, what's it going to be? Mm. To be perfectly honest, whatever I pick. It's not gonna be as good as Whenever I eat him, my dad, I start to sneeze. Well, of course you do, because you're stereotypical and borderline racist. There is a little girl here who seems to be last. She says her name is Anna. Whoa, what the hell is that? You can take a widget to meet the dragons. Okay, but doesn't she need to go back home? Wouldn't that be more sensible? Some of the big dragons are out hunting for their dinner. Hunting for nasty nork. I also noticed a bit of a pink borderage on some of these assets they've got here. This one has other ideas. That is the dopiest looking dragon ever. It looks like Pete's dragon actually, I wonder that's probably where they got the aesthetic from. This one, this is much more sensible than hunting. He's just gone to the shops. What's the balloons for? These four baby dragons have been left behind to guard Claire, and one of them is already attacking me. And constantly breaking his neck as well. He's got a cricket bat, he's got boxing gloves. What's the deal with these guys? Why are they so violent? And, well, apart from the guy on the left, he's just having fun. Luckily, I have four magic collars which will make the dragons tame. Well, that seems a bit creepy. You can only catch one dragon at a time. Says who? Don't tell me what I can't do! Each dragon has a different favourite. Okay. If you run out of something, the witch will come. Why? I think this raven's in cahoots with the witch. I think there's the they've got a little game going on. And that game is Granny's Garden. You remember, you must try to make each dragon come out on its own. You can't drag them out. Right, so that's my food. I have three of everything, right? I remember Ashen's doing this, but it was on the BBC Macro version. Okay, well, let's start with buns. I suppose that's as good as any. The red dragon loves buns. The yellow dragon hates them. The others sometimes eat them. Well, he's come out on his own, so does that mean I get to put a collar on him? Hey! Lovely. Okay. Start with the chips. Right. The yellow dragon's... Oh. Uh, Lolly. Jerk. Alright, alright, alright. Lollies. The green dragon loves lollies, the red dragon hates them, the others sometimes eat them. Oranges. Right, so what's the plan here? Let's try buns again. I'm so confused. What are you supposed to do here? So why's the blue dragon out then? Well, I've nearly run out. Okay. Hey! That seems hardly fair. Right, let's let's get notepad open because I'm gonna forget that. Gotta do all this rubbish again. <laughs> you could put anything there. Right. So, start with buns. Red dragon loves buns. Right, that's a good start. Chips. Chips next, right. Oh right, no, hold on, I think I've understood it. Right, the green dragon loves lollies, the red dragon hates them. So if the red dragon if I have something that the Ah, right, so now. Now I put... Ch what? Okay, right. I think, I, I think I'm getting the concept here. Right. <clears throat> what about... What else is the deal with the buns? So, the red dragon is now out. I believe the red dragon... Did the red dragon hate lollies? So if there's, if there's one out, um, and you put out a food that they will sometimes eat, then they'll stay out. If you put out a food that they hate, then they'll go back in. Green Dragon stopped attacking me with his uh, slingshot. Yellow loves chips, which means blue must love oranges. Right, so green is currently out. Blue hates. So that means green must hate oranges. Okay. You see, the problem here is that whatever I pick, one's going to come out that I don't want, so... Oh! Oh! Ah, there we go, look. However, I've now run out of chips, so, uh... <sighs> right, buns first. 
Yep. Then lollies. Okay, good. And then oranges. Oh. And then chips. There we go. Jobs are good and we have tamed the dragons. I like how the collars are all different sizes. They're weird looking dragons as well, aren't they? Freak me out. You can now go into the cave and rescue Claire. Oh my god. All these children have looked, have started like a proper different style to them. Like the graphics are so inconsistent. Passwords rainbow. Two more? I hope you know how to read a map. Oh. Actually, I do remember this. Why do I remember the later bits of the game more so than the earlier bits? Oh, God, yeah, I flipping remember this bit. Damn. Where do you want to go? Okay, well, might as well start at the castle. You cannot go straight there. Hang on, where am I then? Why can't I go straight there? Cottage. Oh, my God, I remember that massive key. Key. You have the key. Can I go in the cottage? Forest. Welcome to Creepy Forest. They don't look that bad. Trees have got pom-pom trees. Alright. Please take your litter home with you. Gladly. There's a fire burning here! Yikes! Creepy Forest's got... Uh, whoa. Alright. Lake. If you wish to use this path, you must bring me a stone from the hill. Alright. Jerk. Bridge. Can I stop on the bridge? <laughs> Marsh. Marsh is too dangerous to visit. Castle. That was not a good idea. Oh, you again. Right, this time let's go inside the cottage. Oh, what are you doing here? She has a cake in her hand. No. Get lost. Let's go to the cottage. I require the key. Key. I'm on the hill. It's very smoky forest. Yes, giant voice says, I am a hungry giant. Oh, okay. Shall I eat you? No, please. Uh, what the hell is going on here? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So the one time you come across the witch and it's not a game over, you can just like steal stuff from her right out of her hand and she doesn't care. I really don't understand this game. Right. I'm a hungry giant. Shall I eat you? No. Hang on a minute. Just tell me what sort of trees grow in the forest. Pom pom. Ha. Huh. Have you come for water? Yes. I want a key to eat first. Yes. Take some water from my lake. Do you want to know my name? Yes. My name is Redhorn. I better write that down. Maybe we should say yes to the giant. I am a hungry giant. Shall I eat you? Yeah, go on then. Don't be silly, I don't really eat people. Well, not many. There are a lot of white stones here. Do you want to take one? Yes, please. You take a stone. Oh, so d what's the cake for? I'll go to the lake. Yes, I hope you liked my water. That was good water. What did I store the water in there? I was assuming I needed to get a bucket, but... Clearly not. There we go. Creepy forest. These are called pom-pom trees. The fire burning here. Throw the water on the fire. The fire's now out. <sighs> Okay, that was good. Do you want to go in? I better not do. Oh, please don't tell me the witch is here. Oh! She looks like an 80s high school kid, doesn't she? With that hair. Right, so, we started, we went to the cottage first. Just in case I lose, I want to retrace my steps. Key, let's have the key. Let's go to the lake. Hey! Right, that's because I skipped the hill. The hill is no use to me, because I'm already there. Path isn't a thing. The forest, if I go there, the witch catches me. What about the marsh? Marsh is too dangerous to visit. What about the bridge? Can I stop on the bridge? Well, that's it. The other only other place is the castle. And I can't go there because... Oh. Or I can go there. I'm sure I tried that before and I got caught. 
My brother lives in water. What is his name? Red Horn. You may pass. Oh my god! What's going on there? I am watching you. It's Chernobog. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> that was a bit of a non sequitur, wasn't it? That just... I am watching you. It just appeared and now it's not relevant anymore. I am hungry. To enter the castle, you must give me your cake. Okay. You need a key to open the castle door. Hold on, just a just a cotton picking minute. Let's just write down my path again. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do? I can't have a key. The guy eats the key. Maybe another key spawns. <laughs> he says. Maybe if I wait five minutes, it'll respawn. Lake. Ah! Oh! <laughs> can't go from the cottage to the lake because you get eaten by the witch. Man, this game is frustrating. What am I? What am I supposed to be learning here? The the value of trial and error. Right, so I reckon if you go from the forest to the castle and get caught by the witch, but if you go all the way around houses. Let's have the cake, yes. Cheers, witch. Yes, with your key you open the castle door, you keep the key. So, hold on a minute. Oh, oh, right, you've got to go to the castle first. And then you save Jessica from the burning building. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? You are now in the castle of dreams. Everything is strange here, including the perspective. You want to stay? Well, of course. The hell? Oh, well, jobs are good. Right, let's do all this again. Oh, yeah, so you've got to go through all this to learn that guy's name in the first place. So you have to fail at least once. You can't speedrun this game. Oh! <laughs> oh, and there it is. In under... In, yeah, it's taken about 50 minutes to get through the whole thing. That's the end of the adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. These are all the strange... The strange... Um, inconsistently illustrated children. And Granny says it's time for tea. She's got the witch's cake. Granny, what are you? Goodbye. And there's that tune again. Well, there we go. <laughs> that was unbelievably short. Well, I mean, I suppose it is an entertainment game. The thing is, though, I don't feel... I don't feel particularly educated by that. I feel like all I've learned is the is that trial and error is is a thing. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Other than that, and some basic reading and comprehension skills, I mean, there's not really a whole lot there. It's just a case of remembering stuff. And, once again, trial and error, because there's literally no other way to win. It was a little bit of a logic puzzle with the dragons, but... <laughs> I suppose for four-year-olds it's probably fine. I don't know, I guess. It's time for another game. Yeah, we got to the end of that quite quickly. Quicklier than I thought we would. So, yeah, let's... Uh... Now, problem...